I'm Joe James. In this video, I'm going to show you six ways to iterate Java array lists. Some of these you may already be familiar with, but and there are six different ways to basically do the same thing, okay? So there is no one best way for all cases. Some of them are simpler than others, and some of them give you access to the index that you don't have in others, or access to other functions that you don't have in others. First one is the standard for loop. The next one is uh, the enhanced for loop, and I'm going to show you the code for these in a second, so sit tight. Next is the while loop. So these are probably ones you're already familiar with. Another option is to use an iterator. You can also use a list iterator, and you can use Java 8 streams to iterate an array list. So let's look at the code. So here we have three standard import statements, an array list, an iterator, and a list iterator. You have to import those. My class is called MyIterator, and inside my class, we just basically set up a standard array list of strings called cars. I added five cars to it, Chevy, Ford, Honda, Mercedes, and Toyota, and we basically just want to print all these on one line with a space between them. So each one of them you'll see is uh, printing the car's name plus a space all on one line as we iterate through the list. And we, uh, we precede that with a little title. This one's for loop, the advanced for loop, and so on. So using the for loop, we basically just have four, and then inside parentheses we have to declare a loop variable. Typically people use i for a loop variable. You have to uh, initialize that, int i equals zero. We start at item zero. i is less than cars.size. Remember, length is only for arrays, not for array lists. So use size for array lists. And i plus plus. So this for loop statement basically handles the instantiation of the loop variable the test for when the loop variable is finished, and an increment for the loop variable each time through the loop. And then we just have a print statement. cars.get returns the name of that car, and we print it out. Now the advanced for loop is a little simpler. Uh, we just have a for statement with string car in cars. And for in, we use this colon. And what this does is it assigns each item in the list to this variable car each time through the loop. So each time through the loop we get a different car and we print it out. It's really that simple. So one thing we do have to do though is we have to have the correct variable type here, string. So this is probably the simplest way to iterate the array list in Java. So let's scroll down and take a look at the while loop. You know, the while loop basically is similar to a for loop except you have to set up your loop variable i before you enter the while loop. So we set int i equals zero before we go to the while loop, and then our, our check is inside this while parentheses, i is less than cars.size, and then we have to increment the i inside the loop. So I have the increment here, which happens after the print statement is executed. This print statement will print cars.get i, and then it will increment i each time through the loop. So that's a while loop, and here's another way to do it is with an iterator. The iterator function supports has next, next, and remove. So in other words, you can go forward and you can remove items, but you cannot go backward. To do this, we set up an iterator of type string, and we're just going to call our iterator iterator with lowercase i. We set that equal to cars.iterator. So a list basically can call this iterator function, and it returns an iterator and assigns it to our variable iterator. So while iterator has next, in other words, while there's another item left in the list, we'll do this print statement, iterator.next. And iterator.next means really get next, right? So it's going to get the next item in the list. If there's another item in the list, get that item in the list and print it, right? Is essentially what we're doing here. And iterator is a pretty useful function. And then we also have list iterator. And the benefit of the list iterator is that it also lets you go backward, right? So we can see has previous, previous, and we can also add items to the list if we want to. But it works basically just like the iterator. So we call a list iterator object of type string. We're going to call it li. We get that by calling cars.listiterator. And then while list iterator has a next item, it will print the next item out. So it gets the next item and prints it out. So here we didn't use any of these add or previous functions, but you have access to those if you need them. So that's the nice thing about the list iterator. And lastly, there's uh, Java 8 streams. 
And this you may not be familiar with, but in version 8 of Java, you have access to this new function called stream. Iterating a list is the least of the functions that it offers. You can do so much more. You can filter records as you're going through. You can do different operations on them. But here, we're just going to say cars dot for each. And then this little arrow assignment, it assigns a variable. Each item in cars list, it assigns it to this variable car. And what's funny is at this point, Java doesn't even know what type this car variable is, right? We never have to declare that car is a string. And then it'll do everything inside these curly braces using this variable car that we assign it to. So what we're doing is just printing the car. And that's it for the Java stream. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's an interesting new construct that doesn't exist in previous versions of Java. So there we have it, six different ways to iterate an array list. And all these have different features and different advantages. The enhanced for loop is the most simple way to do it, but it's not necessarily the best in every case. Because if you wanted to sort the items in the list, you wouldn't be able to do it without having access to an index. So depending on what you want to do, if you want to add or sort or remove items from the list, you, you may have to choose one that is appropriate for what you're trying to do. But th there are six different ways to iterate an array list in Java, so it gives you a lot of flexibility in programming. Now let's run these and see what happens. So basically it just prints out the title for loop, and then it prints out all the elements in the list separated by a space. And they all print exactly the same thing. So no surprise there. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below. I welcome any comments or feedback on the video. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. If you want to download the code, you can get that here from my GitHub site. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.